Yeah, and he's excited to be back as well. And you saw his contributions when he came off the bench in the last match. He's excited to get out there and contribute to this offense. Yeah, yeah and when you're looking at this, it looks like a 4-2-3-1. But watch the rotation of the squad. Can Pereira slide on on that left-hand side? He loves to be on the left-hand side and find his way. Robert. There is the $2.5 million man from Argentina as Marcos de Oliveira gets us underway. A proverbial six-pointer here in downtown St. Louis City tonight. An honest job and just continue to do it the John Hackworth way and thinks that the guys have continuously bought into it. As this is a teasing ball, Simon Betcher got a touch to it. It looked like he might have been offside and it's finished off by Cedric Teuscher. The flag stays down and St. Louis City draw blood inside of the first five minutes. That was an excellent ball over the top for St. Louis City to get on it early. Well, and that's when you got to get that challenge just right. And you see this ball in over the top. It's going to be close. That's a tough camera angle to take a look. But Michael Boxel challenges. Could it have been a penalty in the box if it hadn't fallen to the feet of Toy Shirt? Right here, he gets an extra body on him, goes down to ground, and Toy Shirt follows up and puts that away in the corner. Of course, every goal. Pereira, teasing ball in. It got all the way through. Falls for Hassani Dotson, and Chris Durkin got a very important touch, and he knows just how pivotal that was. Lubin was trying to switch the point of attack, but did it rather slowly. Now it's Yaboa. Parried away, follow up from Longwane, 1-1. One, one. Three goals in two games for Boggy Longwane. And off the turnover from St. Louis City, Minnesota United, draw level. Yerboa, look right there, pressure on Leuven, forces the turnover, falls kindly to Yerboa, and he's looking for the run. Longwane is trying to find the right place to make that run, to be available, so Yerboa takes... He felt like there was a foul, as did plenty of St. Louis City supporters. But they're able to win the ball back. Chance here again for Toy Shirt and St. Clair with a big save. Pereira, Longwane, Robin Lund, big save from Berkey. Robin Lund, you can see him pick his head up. He thinks this is just going to be a pass in the corner. Yaboa whiffs on it. He's just eyeing it. That's your encouraging ball forward for Toy Shirt. Klaus. Giving some room. Toy shirt for Joao Klaus. And Diaz got a very important touch that might have prevented a goal. Looking for Longwane. Dotson on the turn. That takes a deflection. Yaboa on the follow up. And Berkey, another save. So they feel like they need to win five out of their last six, very much including tonight against the Minnesota team who they're chasing. And this is sent over the top for Yaboa, who goes for goal immediately off the first time. And it's parried away convincingly this time by Roman Berkey. Yaboa got away from Horn, sends it across, and it's an own goal. Jane Reed was the last to touch it, but make no mistake, Kelvin Yaboa and his blistering pace were responsible for that tally for Minnesota. After giving up the opening goal, the Loons have marched into downtown St. Louis and retaken the lead. Only aiming for anybody in, in particular, Yaboa finds his way over to the near sideline, and he takes the touch and the speed move to get around Horn. Top swinger from Rosales. Cleared away by Toysher. Yabo is still asking for a handball. It's being the deciding factor, but had he been able to get up because he runs into it, looks like that's Joao Klaus. Once he couldn't jump. There was a handling offense inside the penalty here by number 22. The final decision is a penalty kick. Yaboa. Calm, cool, collected, and the Loons continue to score. 
and they continue to really enjoy their time here at City Park. They issued the first ever loss to St. Louis City in their club's history last year. Well, the hesitation here by Yoboa, you can see him stop there, but he keeps his momentum moving inside of the right boot. It is nearly impossible for a goalkeeper to make that save on penalties, let alone when they make the hesitation on the way in. Out to the left-hand side, clearly more of a passer than a goal scorer when he gets into that final third. Did some defensive work as well, so I think to be expected, but you'll slowly and over time see the kite as and he And they are going to send him to the monitor. He spins. So would that mean it's behind his feet? But I think if on the line is in, then, then that's a penalty. He's taking an awful long look at it. Slide view. After review, uh, the call the field, the original call stands. Follows on the penalty here. I think you're spot on. City so trying to go quickly. Here's Toy Shirt. Good looking ball for Thornton, who hits it straight into the hands of St. Clair. Dotson. A little out of his reach. Harvey. Dotson. Back for Lud. Is this a fourth for Minnesota? Almost. Dotson. Olawashe. And Berkey makes the save at the near post, and it will be a corner. Rosales trying to get beyond the last defender here, and he does so. Squares it back for Robin Lud, and that's a miscue from the Finnish international and the MLS All-Star. Sangbin. Trap. Harvey on the first time, straight to Roman Berkey. A whole lot of sympathy for him. And that's going to do it. Full-time whistle on a real professional performance from Eric Ramsey's Minnesota United.